together. They said the Bible is like that. The yes. prophets told in pair. One will confirm yes. the other. So um, Pastor Tun is like a spiritual father. Yes. So he said, come, come, come. Then yeah, watch, watch. Hey, hey, hey. After the after they should pray, and he pray. Hey, dummy. Okay, give a word. I'm like, what? After Bishop did what you did, what do you want me to do? <laughs> yes, yes. It's like, huh? Uh, it's like uh, one of the famous uh, singers, uh, Samantha. Uh, Sharon. Sharon. No, no, no. <laughs> Filipina nation. Who is the, the most famous uh, Filipina singer? Uh, Sharon. Sharon. Can you imagine? After Sharon Kuneta sing, then they ask you, come. Uh, <laughs> yes, Lisa, why don't you sing your number more? Like, yes, yes. So, Viva, so for me, it's like after Bishop of the Now, why you want, what can I say, Viva? What can I say? And then, first, like, Pastor Tun, <laughs> then I look at Bishop, I look at Pastor Tun, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and then, I just pray, so, I say, Bishop, I say, God, don't fail me. Uh -huh. Give me a word. Uh -huh. Give me a word. So for me, a word will flow in the... Uh, I will see something, a word written in white on the front. Then that's for me. So I just say the word. Then the girl starts to cry. <laughs> then the girl cried. So after the mission, so when the mission told me the word, the girl was already moved. Then when, so when I gave the word, the girl cried. So I said, oh! Then Pastor Toon, Pastor Toon said, Okay, good. For the whole night, you do this. Pastor Gabby, the last prophetic, the prophetic crossover every year. So I was there to support the ship. I said, okay, let me support the ship. So I said, give me the oil. I hold the oil inside the ship. So the ship only pray for a person. Then he looked at me. Then he like, he looked very annoyed. Like, then he's like, Pastor Gabby, give me oil. Then he takes the oil. And you, go and pray for me. I'm like, what? But, you know, Pastor Gabby, just now, as you were speaking, I just felt the Holy Spirit press upon me. And, yeah, you know, whatever, whatever Bishop told me at the end of the day, it's to me. The Holy Spirit is passing back to me. Hallelujah. That you will hear clearly from me. That you will begin to prophesy. That you will prophesy. Oh. I really, you know, the Lord is just upon me. Why are you not asking? Why are you not asking for it? You have proven faithful. You have proven steadfast. You have proven that the Lord can trust you. That you can move strongly. You have stayed in this very difficult. You have not. You have not surrendered. You have stood firm. You both and asked the Lord to solve of the spirit face. For too long, all you have is the shadow of faith. But that's not enough. You need a sword of the spirit in your hand so that you can take the earth from it. With the shield, we can only defend the small grounds of faith. But with the sword in our hand, we can take the earth from So, Lord, the prayer, the anointing that Bishop prayed upon me, humble position, share the anointing of prayer for Pastor Gabby, and we will begin to properly, and we will begin to hear that he will have a word of knowledge, and he will have the courage to speak it. Lord, you will honor his, his words, you will honor his desire to see your kingdom. So Lord, bless Pastor Gabby. My people go forth and do his work. can. We have a bishop that can do that. So, of course. <laughs> Amen. You know, Pastor Gabby, the bishop said. You need to catch on 
That's why when Nami came to Philippines, we invited him to do youth conference. I was so surprised. Sorry, I'm a pastor Nami, but my experience with Filipino pastor is that they always ask for love offering. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, so we just want to do it. You know? You never know what I'm doing. You know? 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 You Say, yeah, I want to go back. Okay. I said, wow, this is very interesting. Then later, when I talked to him, I learned that because he, he left his bag in the KFC farm and was staying with Pastor Sam. And he was, Pastor Sam was so nervous, he saw just inside there, or 100,000 pesos worth of travelers' check. I said, no wonder. He brought his own money. <laughs> And then I remember Pastor Sam. Because Sam, you remember the Indian Pastor Samuel? Samuel yes. Rogers, the young, the young one? Yeah, so I am, when Pastor Sam first came, I am like his too, yeah. So one day I was scolding him to Sam because he said he narrow very tight. Because he's from India. Yeah. Snoopies and all that, uh, not enough money. Then I told him, I said to Pastor Sam, Sam. No, because he told me, he said, when he, went, when he went to Australia, he said to me, he said, uh, Brother Sam, thank you very much. I will not forget what you did for me. I said, what, did, what you said to me? I said, what did I say to you? Uh, and he said, one day I challenged him. I told him, Sam, I told him, call. I told him, call every once. Uh, oh, you said, he was so... So challenging. Yes. I went back and played you for me. I said, God, call me here. How can I know my teaching? Call me here. The next Monday, I came to the perfect stream. I walked into the church. 